DV back. Okay. Now what I did was I bought a geared head lathe. And um, the lathe came with uh, just one lathe chuck and nothing else. And uh, the lathe you've seen, it's an Axelson 14 by 30 inch. And to tool that up, I want to show you what I had to do to do that. And I did that in this last year. Okay. Now here are the chucks. Now the lathe actually came with this chuck here, but I saw one on the local Craigslist for $300. This is a, a bison three jaw solid steel chuck. And uh, so that's what one of these goes for locally. Now this one here I got on eBay. This is a uh, eight inch Cushman three jaw direct mount D16 chuck. All this stuff is for D16. I picked that up for 200 uh, dollars off eBay. These are really common. Um, the, the scroll chucks, these, three, these two, I'm going to have to uh, grind the jaws, but otherwise they're in good shape. This chuck here I got from HGR. It's a Cushman solid steel direct D16 mount chuck. I got that for 250 bucks. It was um, covered with rust, cleaned it up. It's a great chuck. Then I got an eight inch four jaw chuck here. That's 200 bucks. HDR uh, industrial surplus often has these or eBay. Now to, buy, to uh, adapt this chuck, this is a standard chuck, to a D16, the, uh, the import uh, uh, adapter plates are about 110, 120 bucks. But the Bowstar collet chuck, 5C collet chuck, is about 160 bucks. So if I had to buy this plate for 110 bucks, I got this for 50 bucks. The, the collet, 5C collet chuck itself, and it's actually not too bad. So, okay, uh, that, that's the chucks. Uh, okay, now let's move to the tool post. Now, it's an Axelson lathe, and uh, I, I, uh, I found that the California made uh, KDK, now ancient history tool post system here. Uh, it fit the axles in just great, and I, 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 I'm happy with this setup. Now this costs 750 bucks. Now uh, a tool, uh, a good quality, I guess, whatever imports probably about the same. There's about uh, 11 holders here, and the tool post. If this was an Alora set, brand new, that'd be 2,500 dollars at least. So I squeezed by with 750 bucks on that. Now, um, might as well hit the, the, the uh, cutting tools here. Down here I have the cutters, and I have some stuck in the uh, boring tool holders and stuff. And uh, all this stuff is used, but good quality stuff. This is like a really nice uh, knurler there. It's, you know, uh, what do we got? Uh, can of metal. It's, it's all good stuff there. This stuff averages about 30 bucks a piece for all these. I got grooving, uh, internal, got an external, var various cutters, a threading tool here uh, inside, and whatever. But anyway, this stuff's, uh, I got 500 bucks into that. Okay, now over, we'll move over to the tailstock end. <clears throat> and I got really lucky, and I found this uh, Royal Quad Bearing Carbide Tip Morse Taper for uh, Live Center for $125 last winter. And uh, I think those deals will still be there this winter. Uh, people just need to get rid of stuff. But this, you know, th this unit here is almost $1,000 now. So... <laughs> Uh, I got a uh, ROM drill chuck, 
um, here, and that was a deal uh, on eBay for 50 bucks with free, free shipping. The shanks probably import, but it fits okay. Then uh, for uh, regular drill checks, I got the uh, one inch ball bearing check here. And uh, that was 125 bucks. This is uh, one of the older models, and it's just a great chuck. It's really reasonably accurate. Uh, the key, the key was 26 bucks, and they're hard to find for these. That's that's a healthy chuck. Got a got a spare one here. That was a hundred bucks. Yeah, that's not bad. Now, these bull centers. Um, I bought these are new and they're made in India and I, I've homemade these things before and for 60 bucks and I'm not kidding you, this thing runs true it's it, it so but I noticed they're up they're probably costing 90 bucks for that one this one here was like $40 um, for pipe and tube okay that's the tailstock stuff uh, or, or, along with the uh, ER40 um, collet chuck. That's pretty nice. And uh, I can use that on the drill press too, but I'll use it uh, on this axle and lathe also. So, we got a total of $575 for Morse Taper 4 tailstock stuff. Now for um, a steady rest, I did some videos on that, it was $200 total. Uh, picked this up from HGR Surplus. It was for a Pratt & Whitney Model C, probably 18 inch swing. I had to cut this this much out of the, out of the base of it, see? It's, and uh, drop it down, they braised it together. But it's a dandy st uh, steady rest. And that was a total cost of 200 bucks. And I think I just about wrapped this stuff up. So the grand total of this stuff is $3,000. And I think that's a pretty good deal. I did it over a, over a year. If I had to do this for a commercial deal, I probably would have paid 5,000 for this stuff if I needed it in a hurry. So, I don't know, this might be what you run into if you find a cool old lathe you want to tool it up. So, thanks for now, folks. I'll be back with more.